Hi everyone, welcome to the diecast collection with our channel. Here is the Nissan Skyland silhouette by Hot Wheels. This is from the Hot Wheels car culture series under the silhouette uh, set. Uh, it's a coincidence that the name of the car, the silhouette, is the same as the series that it is a part of. And I checked on the web, on the Hot Wheels wiki, there is only one release of this car and this is it from the uh, Silhouette series. I find this car interesting and unusual because whenever I see a Nissan Skyline, uh, that is a GTR or its variants, uh, it doesn't have any of the extended uh, fenders just like in this car. Maybe this was designed for uh, racing only. But uh, if you think that this is just a concept car, it's a real car. And I have included the link of the reference page that is from the actual Nissan website in the description. Just click the link and see the actual car and compare it with this model after you watch the video. Or if you have this model, you can uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison with the actual photos of this car. Uh, this is a real car designed me, uh, mostly for uh, speed, the way it's... Uh, designed it is uh, low profile has a front lip and there are other elements that this makes this car uh, good for racing as I can see it let's take a look at this silhouette in the front the uh, silhouette has uh, plastic inserts for the lights it does not have any paints but it does uh, have a front lip that is, uh, what's this? I think it's made of metal. Yes, it is made of metal. Since uh, Hot Wheels car culture cars are metal over metal, metal body, metal base. There's a slot for, I think this is for the license plate holder. Uh, it looks really good. For me, if there's no uh, paint design in the front, as long as there's something that makes it uh, really nice, such as the plastic inserts for the lights, I'm good with that. Mm, I think I have a paint chip here. Uh, I have uh, might have dropped this before, but it's just a small uh, paint chip, so uh, I'm good with that. In the driver's side, uh, this is a right-hand drive car. In the driver's side, on the right, there are paint designs, such as the racer number, some text logos, and the name of the car at the back. There's even a little paint for the signal light. Let's check the uh, other side. In the passenger side, on the left, if there are any differences. Maybe a little difference around here. Let's check if that's the same as the other side. I think that's the only difference that I can find. It's, it's in the base, if you can see that. There's a little chip here. I don't know if this is an error. No, it is an exhaust. I think this is the uh, main difference of the uh, driver's side and the passenger side. The paint decorations are still the same. The paint design at the back and the uh, front of the back fender, the eraser number 25. The back has pink designs for the brake lights. Uh, this is the same as the uh, other uh, street legal version of the sedan, the circular brake lights. I'm not sure what is this black paint. Let me see if there are lines, if it is an air vent. No. But if you tilt this a little bit, there are some paint differences on the brake lights. Uh, that is mainly uh, for... Uh, signal lights, I suppose, and the uh, brake lights as a mix, just like other cars. The Nissan logo and Skyline on the left. At the back, on the top, is the uh, spoiler. From here, we can see through the back window and some of the interior details. At the bottom, uh, there are some structures. I think these are diffusers. Uh, the uh, red metal body extends at the bottom 
that can also act as uh, diffusers for air dynamics. More paint designs can be found at the top. Most of them are on the sides. The Nissan logo, let me see if I can do this this way. Okay, Nissan logo, number 25, Nissan Skyline on the windshield. There's a division for the paint design here and the wiper, single wiper, just like in the real car, if you check the uh, actual photos later. Antenna and the spoiler that is uh, saying Nissan in the center. The spoiler has a different color when you compare this with the body because uh, look at the redness of the spoiler. It's not as uh, shiny red as the uh, metal body because the spoiler is made of plastic. So there's even a little. Uh, insert a slot for the spoiler. Let's go back at the uh, passenger side. Uh, there are some details as well, painted details uh, that's present also on the driver's side. I think this is an uh, air intake for the vent. The wheels are different and realistic. And this is what I like about this car. The wheels are just like a supercar. The front has a larger rim and thinner tires, and the back has a smaller rim and thicker tires. It's even deeper when you compare this with the uh, front wheels. The back wheel is deeper than the front wheel when it comes to the rims. At the bottom, we get to see more of the metal body copper information in the center, some of the chassis details, the exhaust coming on the side, the structure of the uh, front lip to reduce the uh, drag when the car runs. I did a little comparison of the car uh, with the actual photos on the website and uh, the car is very similar but the paint designs are different. I guess uh, Hot Wheels decided uh, not to put all the decorations here because of the, uh, let's just say, to reduce the expenses. In case of uh, royalties from the uh, original sponsors, but the car itself is uh, pretty much identical with when it comes to the structure, it is identical with the ones in the photos. It looks good. The interior, okay, let me see if I can show. Okay, I can show a little bit of the interior. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier that the car is right hand drive. Okay, there you go. There's the, uh, somehow, if you can see it, the driver's wheel is round on the right because of the uh, uh, gray, no, make that black tinted windows. It makes it hard to see the interior. Now there are car seats, both in the front and the back. Some of the details are a bit vis visible. There's a roll cage in this car at the back. Let me see if I'm seeing it right. Uh, okay, no, there is indeed a roll cage. This ends my bit of art of the Nissan Skyline silhouette from the Hot Wheels Car Culture Silhouette Series by Hot Wheels. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your collection and see you with the next model.